Hi, my name's Lauren, and in this video, I'm gonna give you an overview of FieldPulse 2.0's mobile application. Please note that I will be doing this video on an iPhone. So whenever you download FieldPulse 2.0 from the App Store or Google Play, and you get logged in, you'll be directed to your Pulse dashboard. From the dashboard, you'll be able to see the jobs for that day, not only for yourself, but your team. You can create customers from the dashboard, create jobs, estimates, and invoices. You can see your recent customer list. If you scroll to the top, you'll notice in the top right-hand corner, you can include a picture of yourself, your initials. If you click that icon, you can um, also edit profiles, permissions, as well as notifications. If you look at the bottom of the screen, you'll see full menu in the bottom right-hand corner. You can manage timesheets, sales, customers, work, and schedule. If we click into the full menu, you'll notice we have the same options, very similar to the web application. Clicking into the schedule, bottom left-hand corner, you'll be directed to the jobs for the day. Please note that we have the team schedule selected at the very top. If you want to see a specific team member schedule, you can click in between team schedule and the magnifying glass, and you can select the team member. If you want to see your schedule for the day, all you have to do is click to the right. From here, you'll see your job, you'll see the job title, the customer, the address, any tags that you have associated with the job. If you would like to see um, more details on the job, if you look at the top of the screen next to the magnifying glass, you'll see an arrow pointing up and down. All you have to do is click that to expand and you'll see the full details of the job. If you click into the job from here, you can input your notes, you can see the tags, you can see the status. If you needed to click to the address here, you can actually navigate here. Clicking back, if you look at the very bottom of the page again, you'll notice we have work. If you click into here, you can see projects, jobs, and subtasks. If we click into the customer, you can see all customers. You can filter by status, tags, and by pipeline as well. To create a customer, you just click into the create new in the bottom right-hand corner to create new customers. If we click into the sales tab at the very bottom, you can see estimates, invoices, payments, and purchase orders. If you have variant proposals enabled, you can manage those here as well as dynamic and price book. If we look into the time sheets at the bottom right hand corner, you can not only manage your own time sheets, but you can also see your team's uh, schedule as well. So we can see Nick Smith, myself, has been clocked in for an hour and 58 minutes. You can see Mike Rose as well as Sam. If you want to see the week view, you can see we have days selected, but if you click into the week, you can see the week. You can also select the particular week that you're trying to look at as well. So if we wanted to go to the full menu again, please note that in the top right-hand corner, the create new, you have the ability to create customers, projects, jobs, subtasks, estimate invoices as well as variant proposals and forms. So that is a quick overview of the new FieldPulse 2.0's dashboard for admins and managers. If you have questions, comments, please do not hesitate to reach out to us at support at fieldpulse.com. Thanks so much.